Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here today on RJ's Trains. Make sure to use code RJTRAINS at trains.com for $10 off any order, $50 or more. Well, it's been a while since I've done a video showcasing new items in my collection, general layout updates. In fact, the last time I made a video like that was after York fall of last year. So now that we're almost a month past spring York of 2024, uh, it's been about six months since the last time I've made one of these videos. So I figured no better time than the present to update you guys and what's new in the collection. So I recently had to clean out uh, my apartment in Washington, D.C., and I was keeping a lot of train boxes there. I mean, just look at how many train boxes I recently brought home. Now, some of those boxes are empty, but as you can see, still, there are actually a lot of train items to discuss. Now, I won't be going into depth on every locomotive or rolling stock, both in that picture or that I've picked up over the last few months, just because we'd be here almost all day but don't worry everything will be shown off in due time so the first new item that i actually wanted to discuss uh isn't technically new for the collection because i've owned it for quite a couple of years at this point but i it's my first real full custom paint job on a locomotive and i'm really excited with how it turned out and it is an mth proto sound 2 brill trolley uh now you guys might remember this as a by war bonds trolley but it is painted up for the washington and old dominion railroad um for those of you who may have never heard of the washington and old dominion railroad it was a short line railroad in northern virginia that operated commuter and and freight services in and around the dc and northern virginia area MTH made 144 tonner, which is pretty hard to track down, and uh, I love trolleys. Now, although the Washington and Old Dominion didn't own any trolleys, um, they had inner urban cars, which looked very similar to the MTH Brill trolley. So this will be a great stand-in. Now, it still has the Washington, D.C. sound set, but uh, I feel like that's pretty close enough considering these operated in the D.C. area. So let's take a closer look and watch this run around the layout. Next up, we have an item that I pre-ordered a while ago. I think I actually pre-ordered this almost a year and a half ago, and I received it, I want to say late January, early February. Honestly, it's been so long at this point, uh, and my mind has kind of been blurred. But it is one of the new Atlas O Premier Line ES44s. This one is painted up for the CSX, and it has the really cool Western Maryland Fireball sticker on the cab of the locomotive. When I was in college down in DC, I would rail fan on the CSX RFMP subdivision a lot. So I've seen these CSX diesels probably more than any other railroad modern freight diesel out there. So I, I knew I always wanted one for the collection. Atlas came out this latest run. I knew Atlas was gonna get the color correct. So I pre-ordered one of those and now we have it here in the collection. And the hits just kept coming with Atlas. I think these arrived uh, a week or two before York. Uh, and these are the 53-foot Maxi 4 intermodal cars. Uh, so I actually pre-ordered two of the three packs. And then previously, I'd picked up two of the single 53-foot cars. 
and one of the 40 foot cars. So in total, I have nine of these intermodal cars. And of course, well, you can't have an intermodal train really without the intermodal containers. So of course that was an extra hit to the wallet. I mean, Atlas timed that perfectly to mess with people's York spending plans, including myself. Nevertheless, these are the finest O scale freight cars I have. I mean, the only things that are in the same category as this are the new Atlas O auto racks, which are also just amazingly detailed and heavy. Uh, each one of these cars uh, weighs about two pounds. It's all die cast metal. Uh, there's very little, if at all, plastic on these things, and they are just phenomenal. I cannot say enough nice things about them. And even the intermodal containers, uh, here is the CSX one. Um, and these things are also just spectacularly uh, painted and all, you know, graphic up. It they they just it it looks like an amazing train going around the layout. Now you might be wondering, RJ, why only single stacks? Why didn't you go double stack? Like how most people model their intermodal trains. Well, CSX in the DC area and along most of the eastern seaboard. They actually run a majority of their intermodal trains only one stack high. Uh, the reason for this is because the Howard Street Tunnel in Baltimore, which was built in the 1800s, wasn't designed to fit double stack intermodal trains 150 years ago. So nearly every single time I went rail fanning in college, I would see this single intermodal stack freight train blast through Longbridge Park in Virginia. And so I have very fond memories of that when I was in college. So I am very excited to be able to recreate this on my O scale layout. Like I said, these intermodal cars are really heavy. They're almost two pounds a piece. I've got nine of them. So that's 18 pounds of train in just intermodal cars alone, not including containers or any other freight cars I have behind the train. So I think we need one more than one CSX diesel. And as you saw throughout the beginning of this video, this is my first York purchase. It is the MTH Premier CSX uh, First Responders Unit, uh, number 911. Now, you guys might remember that I actually already own the Rail King version of this locomotive, uh, which I've shown off before in many of my videos. Now, when MTH delivered these models, I was a broke college kid. So at the time, all I could afford, and that was with months of saving, was the Rail King version of this engine. And also at the time, uh, my layout had 036 curves. So running something like this uh, wasn't really feasible uh, a couple of years ago. And since then, I regretted not purchasing the Premier one. And I'll tell you what, these things do not come up for sale very often. Uh, I've been looking for two, three years for this locomotive, and all I could find was two, one two rail one, really. Uh, the Lionel one comes up for sale every once in a while, but it's the wrong color red, naturally. So when I walked into the Orange Hall at noon on Thursday at the York train show, uh, this locomotive was one of the first things I saw. I turned to my buddies, Chris and Jason. I'm like, I've been looking for this thing for years. I walked out of the booth, catch my breath, uh, think about it. And within uh, five minutes, um, I went right back into the booth and bought it. So I am very, very excited that I finally own this locomotive. I've seen it multiple times and heck, I even got to stand on it. Don't tell anybody though. And the second locomotive I bought at the York train show is unsurprisingly from Mr. Amtrak himself is one of the Atlas O uh, premier P42 Genesis locomotives. And this one is in the C-Track Stink Train Operation Lifesaver paint scheme. Um, and this thing is just uh, gorgeous. I have to give a special thank you to my buddy Chris from Chris's Trains and Things. Uh, for letting me buy this off of him uh, because this thing is just a phenomenal looking train and it is my third Atlas O P42. I've been able to see this locomotive multiple times pulling Amtrak trains 
And I think that the paint scheme is just very, very intriguing. So when he, Chris offered this to me, there was no way in heck I could say no. So we'll see this pull an Amtrak train on my inner loop, as well as the CSX freight train on the outer loop. But all right, well, that is just a few of the new items that I picked up recently. Don't worry, there are other new items that I've yet to show off on the channel. And we'll be getting to that in future videos. So we've got a couple of exciting announcements coming up. So make sure you are subscribed and following along with the RJ's Trains YouTube channel. So this way, when I finally do announce and release that information, you guys are all right here along for the ride. But for now, take care, stay safe, and let's enjoy the trains running around the layout.
Wait, there's actually one more box of stuff down here. Hold on. Wait. Atlas track? An Atlas switch?